autonomous guidance and control for interplanetary missions will be crucial in the years to come as the amount of spacecraft increases. In this video, we will introduce two concepts which were recently developed at the European Space Agency's Advanced Concepts team. First, the guidance and control networks, and then the backward generation of optimal samples. To illustrate these concepts in the case of interplanetary trajectories, let's consider a mission described by the following optimal control problem. A spacecraft in the asteroid belt needs to perform a time optimal, constant acceleration, low thrust rendezvous with another spacecraft or planet in a target circular orbit. For example, to quickly transport mined material to the Earth. Note that this optimal control problem is representative of any rendezvous between two orbiting bodies. The coordinate system used to visualize the trajectories in this video is a rotating frame in which the target body position is stationary. Such an optimal control problem can be formulated and solved by applying Pontryagin's maximum principle, thus defining a two-point boundary value problem and solving it, for instance, using a shooting method. Consider solving thousands of two-point boundary value problems between a range of different initial conditions, but with the same final conditions. This results in a bundle of trajectories which roughly encompasses the state space the spacecraft might encounter during the mission. Let's now sample points along each trajectory. Since these are all optimal trajectories, each sample contains a state vector and the corresponding optimal controls. It turns out that the mapping between the states and optimal control can be learned. Using supervised learning with the states as features and the controls as labels, a simple feedforward neural network can be trained to learn the optimal control policy. The resulting network is what we call a guidance and control network. Compared to classical approaches, for example traditional nonlinear model predictive control, the trajectory generation and trajectory tracking steps both happen simultaneously. The use of GetNets presents multiple advantages. It offers an autonomous guidance and control solution that requires low computational cost during inference, while still meeting operational requirements for interplanetary missions in terms of accuracy. This brings us to the second concept. A major disadvantage of deep learning frameworks is the time-consuming generation of training data. However, this problem can be circumvented for interplanetary missions such as this one using the backward generation of optimal samples. This method allows to generate large datasets of optimal trajectories very quickly. These datasets can subsequently be used to learn the optimal control policy, as the case for guidance and control networks, or even the value function of the optimal control problem. In order to apply our method, only one nominal trajectory is required. Ideally, this nominal trajectory represents the mission as closely as possible. Using Pontryagin's maximum principle, the corresponding two-point boundary value problem needs to be solved once to find this nominal trajectory. The trick is now to perturb the final co-states in the augmented system of equations such that the necessary conditions for optimality are still satisfied. This system, when integrated backward in time, will represent a new optimal trajectory with different initial conditions but the same final states. This process is orders of magnitude faster than only solving two-point boundary value problems from different initial conditions. In fact, the training dataset used for the policy network in our work was generated under one minute on a standard CPU and contains 20 million state action pairs to learn from. To confirm quantitatively the reliability and accuracy of this methodology, we took nine different nominal trajectories which only differ in initial eccentric anomaly Hence, all of them have a different phasing to the final target. We then applied the backward generation of optimal samples to each of these nominal trajectories 
trained the corresponding GetNets to represent the optimal control policy and validated these in simulation. In all cases, we found residuals under 500,000 km in final position error and 100 meters per second in final velocity error. These are compatible with mission requirements and show that the GetNets are able to cancel out rather than accumulate the prediction errors possibly made during the transfers, which for these interplanetary missions last up to five years. Finally, we considered approximating the value function for the purpose of predicting the optimal rendezvous time of flight from a much larger range of initial starting conditions, covering most of the asteroid belt as opposed to only one nominal trajectory. Augmenting all of these trajectories and subsequently learning the value function resulted in a network which for any initial conditions in the asteroid belt is able to predict the optimal time of flight with an absolute average error of less than 4%.